why did I choose cloud computing over cybersecurity after studying cybersecurity for a substantial amount of months? <laughs> so just to give you a little bit of history, um, I started studying cybersecurity in 2016 and I had to stop because um, I had left work to take care of my son at the time. So I had to put a lot of time into being a stay-at-home mom back then. And I was doing the class online and everything. And for me, I, I, I felt like the particular class and material that I was studying at the time was not that interesting to me. So I decided, like, okay, let me just fall back from this for the moment. Okay. And so I knew that I was going to be getting back into tech, but I just didn't know when. So I had to, like, really hone in and take a little bit of time with my son and homeschooling and everything like that. Uh, so he was really small then at the time. He was, like, one or two years old. Uh, so... I ended up later on going to a boot camp and the boot camp didn't really turn out the way that I expected it to. Um, I really felt like the way the material was delivered, it really wasn't um, good for a novice. And so there's a novice or novice, I think it's novice, but sometimes I say novice. So, you know, don't get angry if I make a mistake. <laughs> Um, so I didn't really feel like the instructors were good at explaining things in layman terms in order for everyone to be able to grasp the material in the way that they should have. It could have been that, or it just could have been that there were too many, too many languages that we were learning at one time. I think we were learning like six different languages in like three months. So, um, I'll be tracking back to that again because I'm going to definitely become an efficient coder. Uh, so, getting back to the initial question at hand, why I chose cloud computing over cybersecurity after um, studying it and doing the Google cybersecurity uh, certificate and taking security plus um i didn't you probably saw my video where um i talked about not passing the security to plus security plus but i will be taking it again because i have to take it because it's a part of my cloud computing curriculum and i'm very happy to take it again but as far as the cybersecurity career after kind of looking at the different options for cybersecurity I really felt like I just wanted to do something that was a lot more technical. So I'm really a technical, like hands-on type of person. And with cybersecurity, like, you know, you have pen testing and um, the SIM and everything like that. But um, of course, with those particular areas, you have to be like, uh, you know, on high demand in the event of an emergency. And just where I'm at in my life right now, you know, I feel like I kind of want to be more like project based or uh, architecture uh, uh, based and everything where I can kind of work with um, clients to bring, you know, um, transition their plat their uh data and everything from on-premises to the cloud, making virtual machines, um, just kind of like bringing everything together. Of course, security would definitely be a part of that. And that's very important to me. But just as far as just like um, constructing everything, you know, I feel like that's more uh, up my alley, uh, uh, my alley and it holds my interest a lot more too. So that's just kind of like how my brain works. I'm really, I really am like a problem solver. I have a mind of like a con 
carpenter. <laughs> I tell everybody, like, oh my gosh, I wish I could have went into carpentry. I wanted to be a carpenter, carpenter since I was about 12 years old. So I just love like seeing how things come together from the beginning to the end. I love putting things together, building stuff. And um, I haven't really branched out yet into doing that but um I hope to at least get into woodworking in the very very near future as a hobby so uh stay tuned for that <laughs> but right now all of the construction and architecture that I will be doing will be on the computer uh, currently right now in Azure now that I'm biased to any other cloud platform but I really like Azure so um since I like it um I decided that I want to specialize in it and um I really want to grow within the Azure platform by starting out with, of course, the fun fundamentals, which I'm doing now, and then I'll be doing some 104 projects and everything. So I really want to make sure that I have established, you know, skills and knowledge and the ability to not only to perform, you know, well in my job, which is very, well, I don't have a job just yet but when I do get the job not to just perform well in the job but to also be able to teach others you know and share you know this knowledge so that I can really contribute to like a team or anybody that you know I might want to share it with I don't know maybe one day I want to do coaching or do a little bit of teaching you know on the side to help someone else kind of grow in their career the same way other people have done with me or the same way people created opportunities for me to get this knowledge um but you've heard me talk about course careers before you know just like the course that I took there, Josh Madikar created this course and is an IT course. And I think he did an excellent job, you know, so just him contributing and sharing his skill set and everything has really kind of deepened my desire and really brought everything in. So I kind of was like, you know, learning all these different things, learning all these different things. And I'm just like at the point where I'm like, OK, I really need to specialize in something what do I want to specialize in? And I thought that I wanted to kind of like specialize in Splunk, um, but I started it, but then Azure kind of came along and jumped into my lap with some of the requirements that I had to do for the course. And I loved it. So, um, yeah, so right now I'm definitely focusing on being an expert in Azure. It's very, very interesting to me. It um, gives me the opportunity to get my hands moving, my mind moving and everything and bringing things together and building them and putting them in resources and adding things to them and connecting things and ah, all of that stuff. So, of course, um uh you know i think you also heard in my last video if you haven't you could go always go back and watch it um uh, when i talked about uh not almost passing the security plus and me going through that experience and realizing that experience really uh me not passing the security plus really was the the pinpoint that enabled me to see where i wanted my career to be and that um uh, helped me realize that I really like networking. So um, I'm very appreciative that I had that experience. So it was definitely a positive result out of that. Um, not I, I don't want to say negative result, but just a positive. There was a positive side to the challenge that I experienced and everything. And so I'm really grateful for that. So if you know anything about cloud, you know that cloud is just like networking um, but not on premises, but in the cloud. So that is what I would like to do. And I'm very, very excited about all the new skills that I'm learning. Uh, so if you like to join me, um, you know, you can on this journey of becoming a cloud engineer. I have some videos already on my YouTube channel and I'll be posting some more Azure projects that I'll be working on in order to add more uh, skills to my portfolio. All right, so like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you can get more videos and I hope to see you in the next one.
Thanks. Bye.